provide a brief introduction to your structural engineering firm, including its history, mission, and areas of expertise. Yeah. So, my firm, uh, Sri Harsha Consulting Engineers, we started in 2002. And then, uh, initially, we were doing only residential buildings, apartments, and industrial structures. So, slowly, we have shifted our focus onto the tall structures which are built in steel. So, basically, so we got introduced to your organization, so uh, and maybe uh, six years ago. So, I kept on uh, interacting with your people. Then, uh, so I started giving uh, all the information, like you know, lectures and all. Uh, so now, uh, I think more than ten articles have already been published in your magazine. So my, I mean, I I keep giving lectures also in your conferences and all. So that's the, the association we have with you uh, as a structural engineer. So we are progressing that. And so, what are some notable projects that you've worked on in the past and could you share some examples of both large scale and unique projects? Yeah, so for Phoenix Group, we have done uh, 20 storied uh, steel structures uh, in Hyderabad. So also, one of the very prominent and, uh, and controlless building that is in Mumbai uh, at Mahape. We have done a 12 storied building that is for the tar uh, data center. 1800 kg per square meter is the live load. That kind of a live load uh, we have designed all these steel structures. And in a record time, uh, they have finished the project. Uh, Kirby was the contractor for that. So, that is a very prominent and uh, that is a very specialized structure. I gave uh, some of the, you know, lectures, even in the webinar also, we gave uh, about the uh, controlless structure. It is a uh, one of its kind in the world, I can say. So, it is a best of my knowledge, it is a best uh, the, uh, steel structural design I have designed. And the recent past, I have designed uh, one structure called uh, Telangana Motorways Memorial. That is also very prominent structures uh, right now in Hyderabad. Okay, sir. And how does your firm approach and manage projects from its initial stage to its completion? Basically, I don't uh, approach any of the organization as such. It's only a word of mouth. I keep getting the projects. Uh, so generally, so it is. Uh, I am like you know, I am fortunate enough that uh, I get all the complicated works to do. Uh, so, it is my luck I can say, uh, I am getting all the complicated structures and very challenging works in my kitty. So, those things I mean are, uh, I have been doing and people are encouraging and I am able to deliver also in time and uh, we do a lot of innovation also while doing so. We guide the client also. So, we uh, get to know, I mean, uh, people get to know uh, only by word of mouth. I do not go for any advertisement as such. And so, what is, I mean, you mentioned that all of the projects you receive, you have been fortunate enough to receive projects that are complex in their nature. So, what is your process from the initial design stage to making sure that project is completed to the best of its ability. What does that process look like for you? Yeah, the initial stage, uh, they approach me with the problems, basically, uh, like, you know, controlless, let us assume. So, they wanted a steel structure. Uh, they wanted, basically, they wanted a, within no time, they wanted to finish their project. That too, in a very busy area like Mumbai, where uh, it is very difficult to execute the project in concrete they wanted uh, a solution in the steel structure. Then uh, I gave the suggestion like you know, a steel structure which is a flat slab and, and it is a composite structure. 
So, that is a very innovative way of thinking. So, I gave the suggestion, they readily accepted and uh, it was a, a very challenging work. So, we could able to finish, uh, I mean uh, they are happy with my service as well as the performance also very good. So, uh, and that too that building is uh, completely enveloped with uh, uh, solar panels. So, that is a one more uh, uh, iconic building I can say in Mumbai right now. And what sets your firm and your team apart in terms of expertise and capabilities in your team? Yeah, basically from the beginning we have been doing industrial structures a lot. So, industrial structures means we do, we did some ferro alloys plants steel plants and feed plants, uh, forge industries, all those industrial structures we got uh, expertise uh, to start with and warehousing also we did a lot of warehousing. So, with that exp experience uh, people came to know about our firm and they started approaching me for the other architectural projects. And uh, our team is from the beginning they they are trained in the steel structures. So we have been I mean especially I am teaching each and one each one of my team member. I'll sit just beside them. I teach everything like you know from the basics onwards like you know from the bending moment how we arrive the section capacities all those things, and for columns how how we have to. Um, I mean, uh, how we have to give a uh, proper sizes of the columns uh, with all the like you know, uh, radius of gyration, all those things. I mean, I uh, will teach them every element and how it has to be designed. Then uh, they are trained from, uh, from the beginning they have been trained for in the steel structures. And in the context of modern structural engineering, how do you see sustainability and also eco-friendly design practices and how do you incorporate them into your work? Yeah, so in general steel is a green material compared to RCC. So, and at the same time steel uh, has a time advantage. So, whereas the, so if you are, uh, let us example see uh, a project uh, takes two years of time. So, that can be completed in one year's time, uh, but the, at the expense of uh, 25 percent nearly, 25 percent cost more than the RCC structures. But when we see at the, if the lease agreement is there with the client and all, that amount can be this 25 percent is a, a nominal am amount compared to the rental ag amount what they are going to get in one year's time or so. So, that way I compare a steel is more uh, time, time is the essence of the project, it steel can be made in a much faster rate, uh, people can occupy and they can enjoy the premises. And are there any specific innovations or technologies that you use to enhance the quality and the efficiency of the structures you design? Yeah, so basically uh, in the recent past uh, we have completed one building, uh, that is a coffee shop if you can say, uh, for a Golconda Resorts people. So, architect wanted a specific requirements like you know they do not want any exposed uh, uh, connection details and all. So, we work as per the architect's requirement and uh, we have delivered that project and it is nicely done. And uh, those things you know when, uh, when we were discussing with the architect, architect wanted a different kind of a structure. Uh, we gave a purlin uh, which is uh, made up of a plates in a butterfly shape. So, that they liked it and also main girders we have made a something look to look like a castellated girder we made that also and uh, columns also they wanted in a circular shape and that too in a telescopic manner 
so that also they don't want any kind of a member uh, connection members exposed outside the uh, members uh, main members so that way we understand exactly the architect's requirement and then we proceed and we have delivered also and in the in your experience what are some current trends that you see in the field yeah so nowadays uh, steel uh, for everybody steel is a they understand like you know uh, steel is a much faster way they can construct and much uh, easier way and much complicated structures can also be built with a steel structure whereas uh, rcc uh, cannot be built like you know huge structure with a circular shapes and all these things uh, especially i was talking about the martyrs memorial that is a ellipsoid basically so that ellipsoid to make an ellipsoid in a rcc it's very difficult and shattering and all it's uh, it's very difficult to do but whereas in steel structures we can make it that is a possibility thinking basically we can have a, a better possibility in the steel structure in the making. And um, I am also seeing parametric design being used as a buzzword these days. So how do you see that translating in terms of a practical design that can be actually executed on field? So every project has a unique requirement. So and also the whenever there is a building you know building or an industry each one has a different uh, challenge so we take up that i mean whatever the project needs we'll try to fulfill even up to 10 meters cantilevers also we do in steel structures and uh, recently uh, i mean we are still working on one project uh, so that uh, 10 meters cantilevers in that they wanted to place all the machinery also for that kind of a loading also we keep doing the designs so every every project has a unique requirement we fulfill that i mean it's not uh, basically it's particularly one uh, project we don't uh, we agree what the project demands so we we go for it and we do the design and if you had to highlight some challenges in the industry that you see? Challenges, uh, no, every, I mean, whatever we are getting so far, all the projects and all, they are like, you know, challenging only. In that way, I told you in the beginning itself, uh, I am fortunate enough that way we are getting all complicated structures to do. Uh, I am only getting, so that way. We have been doing good projects, I mean, so people are appreciating, so with our innovations, uh, with our uh, delivery schedule also, that's more important and we keep very simple, I mean, all the, I mean, our team is also very good, I mean, uh, so we have a total 50 plus uh, structural engineers as of now, so everybody, I mean, I keep all the engineers make them understand both RCC and steel structure. They are good now, most of the engineers, they know how to design the RCC structure and also steel structures. That way I keep my team uh, as an all-rounder. So, so, people are being trained in such a way, we are able to deliver. And like you said, you get all of the complex projects, which also means that safety becomes vital in these structures. So what measures do you take for quality assurance and safety so that you can ensure the integrity of the structure and so that the occupants are also safe? Yeah. So for example, we have uh, designing one uh, 68 meters uh, span structure that is hall number 4 at Hyderabad uh, in Hitex. So for that, uh, you know, for a 68 meters people uh, and that too, we are going to have a partitions which are hung from the rooftop. So 68 meters at a hanging from a 12.5 meters height, it's a very really challenging. And for that, we need to understand exactly what needs to be done 
so that means we give a we provide a pre camber for that kind of a structure so uh, if you don't provide a pre camber that leads to a lot of deflection both in terms of erection also in terms of you know when there is an error in the erection at least even if it is a 5 mm uh, i mean out in the columns it may lead to 50 mm uh, uh, deflection in the main structure of a 68 meters so that way we take enough camber so that all the live load dead loads and also incidental loads you know uh, like you know this partition loads what i am talking about those things are also being understood well understood and we keep that margin as well safety in terms of erection safety in terms of uh, design and after erection everything is done and the longevity of the structure also we will take into account that way we take every aspect in the design Are your firm's future aspirations and goals, and how do you envision this growth and evolution of your structural uh, of the services that you offer? Usually, you know, I don't keep any goals as such, so I keep it simple. Whatever it comes in my way, I keep doing. I know, like you know, it's not a, a big ambitions and all. So that way, I'm. I keep getting projects because of my ability to do the better design and a better delivery schedules. So, I keep getting the projects. I mean, I don't have a specific goals as such, you know, I need to design so on, so on, so on. Nothing of that sort as of now. So, I don't believe in that also. It's a total, it is a journey. It's not the destination what I feel. It's uh, always I keep doing, I keep getting the projects. That's it. Is there anything that you would like to add, like a special comment maybe? Yeah, so as uh, I really appreciate your organization in bringing up all the consultants together and experts together and it's a <coughs> great knowledge sharing as such for the all of us, you know, I keep learning from others a lot.